Hello friends, today we are going to see how to reverse a linked list. So let's see one example. Here is the linked list A, B, C, D, E and the last node points to null. So the reverse of this linked list is the last node comes first that is E then D, C, B, A and the first node points to null. So this is how we revert the linked list. So let's see this in a different way. Means instead of writing E as the first node, I will keep the node values same. That is, I will write E as it is, then D, C, B and A. So the node values are same. Just I will revert the pointers. This pointer, I will just revert it. So I will revert it. I have reverted all the pointers. And I will point the first node as null. And I will make the last node as head. So this is the reverse of this linked list. Both are same, but just the approach is different. This is exactly what we are doing in this code, in this program. Means we are going to the end of the linked list and then we are reverting the pointers. So now I will explain you this code. So in this code we are point we are passing the head consider this linked list this original so we have passed head here so now if head is equal to equal to null so the head is not null p equal to head means p will point to a now so i will write it here p will point to a and q will point to p gives next so q will point to the next node that is b So now P is pointing to A and Q is pointing to B. So now if Q equal to equal to null. So if Q is null. So here Q is not null. So we go to the uh, next function that is reverse. So this is the same function we are calling inside the function itself because this is a recursive function so we will pass q to the reverse function so it is b so we will go in the second recursion as we have called the same function here as the name of this function so we will go here and this time the parameter is b the head is b so when b comes inside Again, B is not null, then P will point to head, that is B. So, P will point to B and Q will point to P gives next, that is C. In this way, again, as Q is not equal to null, so we will pass C in this reverse function. So, now head will be C. So in this way, in the third recursion, here it will come as C and it will be Q will be D. In the fourth recursion, P will be uh, D and Q will be E. And in the fifth recursion, just C, P will be E and Q will be null. Because after E it is null. So Q will be null in this step. Because P is E. So as E has come here. And Q is null. So in this case when Q is equal to equal to. Uh, when Q is equal to equal to null. We will return. 
so i will tell you now so when we return then i will mark it as this is null so we will return from the fifth recursion we will return in the fourth recursion so now you can see when we return these are the two tricky steps which are going to be executed so p gives next gives next is equal to p so what does this mean this means in this step p gives next so p is d and it points to e p is next points to e because d points to e so p gives next gives next so its next will point to p again so e's next pointer will point to d so q points to p this means p gives next gives next is equal to p so p gives next gives next points again to p so this is how we revert the pointers again we will come to the reverse to the third recursion and here again the same step will be executed so we will revert this pointer so this will be reverted again in this step this will be reverted again in this step this pointer will be reverted when so and at each step after reversing them you can see after reversing all the pointers we will make p gives next equal to null so the last thing will become next pointer of the last node we will become null actually at each recursion at each recursion they point to null means for example here d points to null but again when it comes to third recursion the pointer of d changes to uh, changes from null to c so i have not written at each step actually at each step the p's pointer sets to null but again that changes that pointer changes in the uh, next uh, revert recursion and it points to the previous point, uh, previous node so and at finally p points to null and this never changes and we return the uh, start means we return the start of this linked list the start of this linked list is q from the first step whenever q is null we will means here when this will come out of this function so q holds always q holds the start of the uh, start of the linked list so this is how we this is how we reward the linked list and you can get the full code at github.com slash vivekanan44 hey friends please subscribe to my channel as i post algorithm videos every day and if you want a video on any particular topic then please mention in the comment below. Thank you.